Hello. I'm sorry about that, slight technical hitch. This is the School of History and Heritage. My name's John Morrison. I'm the head of the school. These are the programmes that we have in the school. And we're going to be talking about some of them today. And there's the opportunity to talk specifically to the people who teach on these programmes with you, to hear a bit more about the programmes and ask them questions if you log on to the programme specific talks after this. So the first thing I want to say is that what matters to us is your experience, the student experience when you're here at Lincoln. And we're committed to providing the best experience from your initial arrival right through to graduation day. And central to that is the city that we're in, the city of Lincoln. The city loves the university. The city is seen as helping deliver and support some really important things. Um, and the university is really seen as helping in that. I've only been here a year and I've been really struck by it. It's not a common thing to have an entire community so happily supportive of its university. And it makes for a good environment and I think it's a good place to come to a university. Of course, what we do in the university is also pretty important. And you'll have heard about league tables and things already this morning, but this is specific to the school. This is the National Student Survey. This is something that runs every year and students, as they're coming towards the end of their degree, are asked in quite a big survey about their experiences and what they think about um, what's happened to teaching, the people they've worked with, their approachability, all those kind of things. And you'll see that history came out nationally as ninth out of over more than 90 um, in the country, with almost 97% overall satisfaction. So it's pretty good. And it's not a flash in the pan that we've been running at that sort of level for quite a long time. Um, we're a successful and we're a good and popular teaching department. And the reason for that is that because we are as excited about our subject as you are. The school's based in a building called Nicola de la Haye. Strange name, but appropriate for a history-centred school. Nicola de la Haye was a major figure in medieval England. She twice led the defence of Lincoln Castle against sieges. And after the death of her husband, she was the keeper of the castle. She held the castle. Um, from 2014 through to 20, uh, from 1214 through to 1226 when she retired. So we teach in Nicola de la Haye and we teach all over the campus really. These are two of the places we work in. This is a big lecture theatre and a seminar room. Obviously things are a little bit different at the moment but we will be teaching in these spaces next year. There will be face-to-face -face teaching. It will run slightly differently, but there will be face-to-face -face sessions every week and all your modules will have that and it will be centrally, the teaching will be centrally what all good university teaching is about, about debate and discussion. So this is not about professors telling you things. It's about asking questions of the world as you understand it, interpreting what you see, hear, read, arguing about for your own reasoned conclusions. Now just think about that for a minute. You have the opportunity here to spend three years listening to, talking to, debating with people who are interested in precisely the same things that you're interested in. And these are some of the people that you're going to be doing, doing it with. This is another government survey, the Research Excellence Framework this time. But what we're seeing here is the cover of some of the books from some of the staff in the school. The government will tell you that they think these are really good, but what matters is that the people that you're going to be taught by, you're going to argue with, are the people who are right at the front of setting the standards for modern discussion in philosophy, modern history, classical studies, art history, American studies, conservation, history. I'm an art historian and my colleagues, all my colleagues like me, they do what they do because they have a passion for it. I don't write art history and read art history because it's my job. I do it because I'd rather do that than anything else. That's true of everybody in the school. We love doing this and talking about it and teaching it. And I know that I still learn from talking to and debating with students about it. Now, some of what we're doing is centred on specific and unique resources that we have in the city. Um, we have 
one of the most beautiful buildings in the country in the cathedral. We have Lincoln Castle and the collections, an important archaeological museum that um, students of uh, classical studies visit. Um, and we have the Cathedral Library. Um, the Cathedral Library has an original copy of the Magna Carta. There only are four. Um, one of the centrally influential documents sealed by King John in the middle of June 1215. And one of them is in Lincoln. We visit and use all these places and all these resources. We're not just reliant on what happens to be in Lincoln, however. Uh, and I'm showing you here a couple of pictures of the conservation labs. Uh, conservation, central important program in the school. We're training people who are going to be conservators, but other programs in the school, students in other programs in the school can take conservation modules, use these labs and actually be hands on with the materials. We strive to be an innovative and developing school and that is reflected in the way we teach. So that, for example, if you're studying philosophy, we run a philosophy salon in a pub in the old town, a nice place called the Cardinal's Hat, and we invite major philosophers to come along and present on a particular topic, and then we debate it with them. It's open to everyone, and we get maybe 50 or 60 people that come along. It's a mixture of staff, students from right across the university, and the people of Lincoln talking, debating, fundamental philosophical thinking in a great setting. Those kind of things mean that we're very good at employability. We are good at our graduates getting good jobs when they leave with a Lincoln degree. And they're in heritage, museums, law, management, but lots of other things, lots and lots of things. We're reckoned as being high quality at that. And we do that through putting a lot of effort into opportunities for you to volunteer, to work on school projects, to have internships, placements. And we have increasing numbers of people moving on from after they've completed their BA degree to our MA programs and taking a postgraduate qualification. We don't just care about you as students, though, about what you learn and what kind of degree you get. It's your entire experience, and we care about that. And we have a system of personal tutoring. You'll be allocated a personal tutor from the very beginning, and they'll be your main point of contact from that point onwards. And their role is to help and support you and signpost you towards the university services and support should you happen to need them. So it's an all around care that we have. So I would urge you to join one of the uh, discussions about the specific program that you're interested in. It might be BA in history or in modern history, that's a new degree, or in philosophy. There's a picture there of someone wearing a virtual reality headset. We teach with that in first year. Um, we ask moral questions and people have to act on them. I've done this and it's really quite interesting. It's very different from just reading about it and making some kind of rational decision about what you do, when you actually have to physically act on your decision. It's very engaging, even disturbing a little, very interesting thing to do. You might come and do classical studies. You might come and do conservation. All of those things, I encourage you to sign in for a presentation and a discussion with the staff who actually teach on these programs. So having said it's a great idea that you come to Lincoln, it seems slightly odd to say, well, actually, you can go somewhere else. But we have a very good study abroad program. We have good links with America, Canada, the Czech Republic, Holland, all sorts of other places. And you can spend a semester abroad in these places, again, giving you an interesting, perhaps um, more individual CV. So Lincoln is a great place for all the disciplines that are taught in this school. It has a great history from the Roman period right through to the modern period. Everyone knows about the Romans. The independents said that the university was the best thing to happen to Lincoln since the Romans. Bit of a throwaway line, but it shows the length of history that we have um, in the university. But who knew that Lincoln developed and created the first ever tank? It's a, an important historic city. It's also a great place to live. Safe, inexpensive, a beautiful place. Our campus is right in the heart of the university. So I hope that you'll seriously consider Lincoln as a destination and the School of History and Heritage. And I hope to see you soon in Lincoln. Thanks for listening. Bye.